a short question and answer program where we're going to put the authors on the spot for a moment. I'm going to turn my chair to separate myself from them. Uh, I guess we can go in reverse order. That makes sense. Good idea to pass the mic down there. We'll go Kirsten, Valerie, Phil, Alex, and then Yelena. Um, they're, they're short questions. They're very, you, you can only give short answers because there's about a certain number of questions and we have about 10 minutes, so limit your responses to 15 seconds. You can also pass. If you think the question's bad or you don't have a good answer, you can pass, you can drop the microphone if you want. Uh, yeah, I'm in M style. You can throw the microphone, whatever you want. Okay, here we go. What was the first impulse for your book? I think um, shame. I often start with <laughs> moments of shame and write out from there. Okay, Valerie, what was the first impulse for your book? It's the same question, so people can start thinking of it. It was a story I read, a letter I read by the um, 15 seconds this past. <laughs> Two microphones. <laughs> Deploying to Iraq probably had something to do with it. <laughs> Thank you. You got an easy one on that. <laughs> um, you know, it was probably uh, it was probably it probably came from a book I read. I think it was I wanted to write a funny book like um, it was probably from a Mordecai Rickard book or you know, Barney's version. You know, yeah, that's, you know, sprouted up somewhere in that reading. You've answered the second question, but I'll switch it for you. So, yeah, yeah, you can pick a second. Um, Italian restaurant in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> what book did you think of most while you were writing your book? See, Alex jumped the gun. I mean, it's a book. we'll try it. What was the book you thought of the most while you were writing your book? I think probably I'm going to cheat a little bit, but stories by both um, Antonia Nelson and Alice Munro were constantly in my head. I was sick with imagism, uh, reading Pound and, and Patterson, or the William Carlos Williams Patterson, so I went to, I, I started writing it when I was very young, so I had all these pretensions. I wanted to write an imagist novel. Uh, varied by story, but probably Shusaku Endo's Silence. So George Bernanos' Diary of a Country Priest. No, you have to think of it. I actually have a different answer. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a book. It was uh, I'm Not Stiller by Max uh, Frisch. Frisch. Yeah, I read that a few times while I was writing my book. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the question is, what book were you reading the most? Or what book, reading or did you think of the most while you were writing yours? Um, I would have saved them if I could by Leonard Michael. What's the art form that you feel closest to other than writing? Sometimes writers are frustrated musicians or filmmakers or sculptors. Is there one in particular that you feel a kinship with other than writing? I love visual art, um, drawing, um, but I'm not very good at it. Okay. I was failed by Lorena. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, visual arts, painting, also a lot of photo photography like Ashley Gilbertson, or, um, Doug Mills. Someone before guessed that you would say photography. <laughs> so whoever, I'll tell that person they were right. I'd say like like stand up, like stand up comedy. Or That's it. <laughs> um, engineering. <laughs> If you weren't writing, what do you think you'd be doing? Let's say that, that you had not been recognized by the National Book Foundation, and like Alex said, it was at a moment when he thought, what am I doing? Let's say the moment of what am I doing extends. Uh, what is the other thing that you end up doing? I think I'd be a biologist, but I feel like it's too late. Oh. <laughs> um, maybe like teaching dance to three-year-olds. I very briefly taught middle school students, which was amazing. What subject? Uh, writing, English. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. 
It's, uh, it's actually it's more in line with the Marine Corps experience <laughs> than with writing. I'd be like an RA in a dorm. <laughs> Uh, like a high school or college? A college, yeah. A college, college. Any college in particular? Oh, um, that's a, you know, that, then we get interesting. Uh, you know, and, I mean, all girls would be, that would be a, that would be a good job. But any, you know, it doesn't matter. Liberal arts, liberal arts college, yeah. yeah. Um, I was actually going to go into the Air Force um, to be an astronaut. There's astronaut fans in the, in the crowd. Um, what's a classic book that you have never read and never intend to read? Catch 22. Oh. The Bible. Oh. <laughs> Finnegan's Wake. Oh, that's, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say Finnegan's Wake. But... Still, you know, actually, yeah, well, I've never, uh, I've never finished Ulysses, so I'd like to read it, but I don't know if I'll have time. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. Don Quixote. I, I know, I just, I did it. I know. <laughs> I'm just not going to read it. <laughs> you can't read every book. You can't. In fairness. I'll probably start it tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's the next question. What's a classic that you haven't read but are going to start reading tomorrow? One that you intend to read. It's on your list. It's on the table. You're definitely going to get to it. You just haven't gotten to it yet. No problem with it. Just haven't made the time yet. War and Peace. Oh my goodness. Uh, one of the... Sapphire... No. Sapphire and Fowler. No. One of, the, one of the many Jonathan books. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um... 1066. <laughs> it could be any Is it 2066? 2066. Um, I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I think like, like Anna Karenina, I really want to read. I'm going to stick with my answer. Don Quixote. So it's both a book that you're never going to read and a book that you are going to read? Tomorrow. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Uh, where did you write most of your book? And this, you can interpret this either as the city or the actual piece of furniture, however you want to answer it. Where did you write most of the book? You could describe the desk, you could say where the city was where you wrote most of it, or you could answer it however you like. Oh, many, many desks and many cities. It's written over the course of a lot of moves. Yeah, me too, and for a while since I was pregnant from that very horrible state of um, sort of bovine stupidity that pregnancy produces. Um, I mean, in New York, I, I, I bike around the city, ride someplace, get restless, and then bike someplace else and think through the problems I was having while I was biking. Well, you ride on you your bike? <laughs> Um, I, I remember I, I wrote in two places. I wrote a lot of it in the Housing Works bookstore. Okay. So like um, ten, 10 to 1, 10 to 1 in grad school. I did that. And then I wrote in the MIT library when I lived in Cambridge. Good, good spots. I mean, I have no good answer. It's just, you know, in the most boring place at home. It's not that boring. No, it's totally boring. It's a, uh, I know that authors don't like thinking in terms of single word themes, particularly for their own work, but I'm going to ask you just to do it. This is where people pass most often, but if you have, if you're asked by someone on a stage to come up with a single word theme for this book, what would it be? Gosh, I was really banking on being last for this section. <laughs> Alright, we can reverse it. That's fair. You've been first every time. Single word theme for the book. Um, 
single word named Akhtiorskaya. <laughs> for, for my book? Yeah, for your book. Um, uh, uh, Patsy. <laughs> Iraq. <laughs> it's all really easy for me. <laughs> Sex, of course. <laughs> I think longing. Okay, and the last question is without looking, and, oh, and then we're gonna take a couple questions from the audience. We have time for two or three, so start thinking of them. Without looking, we'll go this direction again. Do you know the last word of your book? Exit. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Here, I'll check it, hold on. Give me yeah, the book. Actually, yeah. Not counting acknowledgements. Right. I don't have any acknowledgements. All right, I, I know what it is. I got it, so I won't tell you till the end. Okay. End. <laughs> and you're sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Found? Found, you're pretty sure? We can check it after. I'm so glad I'm last. How? How? All right, well, Alex, Alex is the only one. Now, check, everybody check to make sure you were right. Alex, yours is, you want to say what it is? Name. Name. It's a good, strong word, name. So, all right, so everybody's checking. You were correct? Correct, correct, and correct. And Alex, once he saw, was 100% correct. <laughs> right. uh, so, take a couple questions from the audience. I don't know if I can see people, but if you say the questions kind of loud, I can repeat them so everyone can hear. We'll go by show of hands. It usually just takes one unshy person to break the question plane. That looked like a question, but it was just someone taking a sweater off. No, she was oh, is that a question? <laughs> I know I saw, but now, but now she singled you out. So just, you can ask a question if you want. If we have no questions, people can just go back to drinking and hanging out. That's not necessarily a problem. But I'm just saying, if there are questions for these five authors about process or product or anything. Oh, there is? I can't see. Okay, yeah, that question over there. Okay, so the question is, uh, what, for the authors to comment briefly on their next book, and we'll go, we'll start at the, the non-traditional end of the line. One word. <laughs> no, not, not one word, but still 15, 20 seconds. Oh, my next book is a novel about a family in um, northern New Mexico. Mine is probably about um, a trip that a family takes towards northern New Mexico. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, now I need to write about northern New Mexico. Um, yeah, working on a novel. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to tell you anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm writing a, a book about um, a, f a few years in the life of Norman Mailer. Um. <laughs> That's the book? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One more question here and then we'll, we'll wrap up the program. Um, MFA or New York City, which you uh, <laughs> The question is MFA or New York City for training grounds, which is a better training ground, is it the question? Yeah. Okay, MFA or New York City, or, or neither or both. Um, I'm hearing neither from the audience it's here. It's not an option. But, um, <laughs> I think that um, either neither or um, New York City. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I would have finished a, or known how to write a book if I didn't go to the MFA. So for me, I would say MF, MFA. Alex and I went to the same MFA. We did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so, strong Hunter MFA block here. And New York City, because it's in New York City. It is. We have both. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, did, I didn't do an MFA, and I just recently moved to New York City, so, Mexico City. <laughs> <laughs> so much in my MFA, um, but I find New York City really exciting. Would you say that it's like being in a movie? <laughs> <laughs>
So, so I think one more question, and then you, you want to come up. With, okay, one more question, and then we'll, we'll be given permission to do one more question, and then we'll wrap up. You know? All right, you want to just come up and close this up? made these selections. Thanks to all you guys. Thank you, Ben Graham, and thank you, Questlove, wherever you are. Um, we have another hour to drink and listen to music and hang out. So thank you all so much. <laughs>